Hello, today we're going to do a very special episode on film Piranha. This is going to talk about a little bit about the history, about the film and its current state, what's going on with it, the uniqueness about the packaging, the company's approach to things. So today is Film Piranha Day. It is. It is And indeed. we're gonna have a lot of fun. And today with me is... Hey, howdy y'all, I'm Mr. Holga. And I'm Todd Tuckett, right here in front of the great wall of film. And wait, we... wait, because this is Don's, Don's Use Photo, Photo Equipment. Well, every, I, I think the great wall of film, everyone just knows is that Don's used photo equipment. I know, but we can't skip it, but we are in front <laughs> we, of there, We are. And t today, film Ferrania. So we're going to be waving our hands a lot, talking. <laughs> it's yeah, very, very Italian. It's Italian. No, it's I'm not Italian. Italian, though. I don't know. No, I, I'm but, not either. But I can wave my hands. <laughs> <laughs> we can wave our hands. A long time ago... Film Ferrania was a movie company. Okay. And it also made still film. But so Film Ferrania, first of all, is Italian. Is Italian in Italy. Right. And it was doing the movie films, the, the great movies of the 50s, 60s, 70s, probably even earlier. I don't know. But I, mean, I, I really didn't get that far into the history. You didn't go watch all the movies? But Film Ferrania had actually, I think, started in like 1882. Ooh. Yeah. So it, it, it has been around a very long time well well so the name has but the name I has mean, the name because has. i'm assuming at some point because the fact that we've been of, having this discussion here that old company kind of ceased and a new did. company started so. it did and I, the, the old company had folded a group of people got together and said hey let's save it and they when they bought into it they became right. partners with the government of italy Ooh, yeah. partnering with the government. government. Nothing ever goes <laughs> wrong there. Nothing, nothing. And of course, this is our perspective from the across the pond on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what happened was is that they had everything shut down and they bought it and they said, good, we're just going to start it up and get going right back where yeah, they left off. Yeah, everything with that film business shut down. Yeah. So, so don't want to be confused with any other shutdowns. We're talking about this particular business shut down this uh, was this was like wild what, back. way be this is before the turn of the century no. I mean, we're talking to 2000s no, 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 no. I th well i think that they took it over in like 13 2013 yes and so it, it it hadn't been shut down long enough to where everything that was on the production line was bad so they were just going to go scrapped. in it wasn't scrapped they were going to go in and just finish off the slide film that was on the production line. Okay. Turn around and, and sell that and go, hey. Look what we got. Instant money. You know, we just started up, go, instant money. We walked in, we found some money, we decided to use it. Yeah. But this is where the partnering with the government went, uh-oh. Oh, uh, what had happened? The government says, you know, <laughs> you need to change. And then the list started. The list, yeah. You need to change this. You need to change that. You mm -hmm. need to change the capacitors that run to the building, the electricity. You need to... And upgrades. You've upgrades. got to do You've upgrades. You've got to do upgrades. You've got to bring this place up to code. Not easy. No. Meanwhile, years later, yeah. <laughs> they got everything up to code. Okay. And they were... But by the time they got to that point, though, the film that was on the production line... Yeah. Went bad. It's it's sour. It, it, it's sour. Not good. So they had to take all of that stuff down. And while they were, when you take all of it down, you might as well clean everything up while you're there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had lots and lots of hoops they had to jump through, and they did. They were very persistent in following through on the project. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people probably would have given up and said, "We can't do this. That's it. Let's go." You know, coming back from a total stop. And, and actually getting back into the business mm -hmm. again. Uh, not an easy thing to do. No. Um, yeah, you know, it's just it's terribly, terribly hard. And, and unfortunately, I, I can only think of Bluebell had, having to do that. I mean, that was not an easy thing for those guys to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Jeff Peanut Butter, for example. Yeah. You know, I mean, when you have, when you shut down a line for cleaning. Cleaning. And, <laughs> and then try to crank that sucker back up again. You, something yep. that's not really meant to be shut down. You have to go back and retweak everything oh, that comes yeah, I mean, through. It is, and it is hard because, and when the government steps in, there's a lot, there's a litany of things that have to be changed. Yeah. Starting with, I'm pretty sure, chemicals. 
Oh, no, I don't think the chemistry, I don't know about the chemistry was the, was the issues as much, but it was electrical and updating so the, building the, code, the codes, the, co up, the building codes, etc. But the fortunate thing was, is that during that time, the group was able to buy more of the equipment. They've okay. got like a, a big, huge building full of the equipment. Okay. And then they just go in and use it for spare, spare parts and just go in and say, hey, we just get this part. But also, <laughs> eventually, whenever they move to the next phase, the next phase, right. they've, got, they've got everything there now. So they were able to fortify their position for start. Now, they then had to come in whenever they started making the, the film again. Right. It, they started off with the black and white. Right. They've done, I, they, I think they did a few production runs of those small and then made corrections. I think they did a big, huge production run in, uh, several years ago. Uh, it right. was the P30 Alpha. Yeah, and I think I got some of that. No, you did you know, from the was that part of a Kickstarter that you did that, or is that well, just yeah? That I mean, so through? I was uh, so the original Kickstarter, and I was looking that up just before the video. Uh, now, I and of course, you and I were just we were just discussing Kickstarters, right? We're right. not a big fan of Kickstarters, and I like to make a difference, clear, clear difference here. Yeah, this is the type of Kickstarter that I, I so totally think is worthy of a Kickstarter, okay? Yeah. Uh, established businesses to me aren't Kickstarters. I mean, uh, for example, yeah. uh, Apple does not need a Kickstarter, okay? <laughs> uh, Amazon does not need a Kickstarter. They have got plenty of cash, okay? Yeah. But something... Facebook may need a Kickstarter. Yeah, now. They, they might be. <laughs> they might but, be. That's you know, different. <laughs> but Film for Ryan, they needed a Kickstarter yeah. because they needed some money to get some stuff done. And uh, so, yeah, I jumped on board, not with a lot of money, and it was for color film. And I was like, hey, let's let's get another color film out there. Oh, I, yeah. I would love to kick in. About how long? ago was this? Uh, I believe that was uh, like the spring of 2015, I think I did the Kickstarter with them. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, they, if, as you say, yeah. the, the government steps in and different things happen and one thing after the other. And it's like, well, you know, it is what it is. So first of all, Kickstarters, you have to be willing to lose your money. Uh, there is no guarantee that you're going to get right. anything. And, and if you can't play that game, don't. Yeah. But, uh, you know, yeah. is, being a film photographer, I wanted to encourage the film business. And so I'm like, yes, Phil, you're going to give this a try. I can yeah. give you some money. And this was back before there was a shortage of color film. Yeah, w way, way, way yeah. before. So you were willing to sit there and go, we need more. Right. Now, you know, this stuff. But one of the great things about film uh, for Ryan is they, they constantly give updates, whether it yep. was uh, monthly or semi monthly or weekly or whatever, you know, that, or, or half or a year. Half they they year. did give updates, yeah. and which was nice because some Kickstarters, when they get to a certain point, they stop giving they updates. Disappear. They just disappear. They took the money and run. But <laughs> Film for Anya did not. They kept no. giving updates. All and... the money went into the project. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm sure it all got spent and it all got used. And uh, so somewhere towards, uh, I don't know if it was two or three years. Yes. <laughs> somewhere between two or three years. I don't think that picks up. No, but it, it's, it, I pick it up. <laughs> so somewhere between two or three years, they eventually came out and said, you know what? Uh, we have finally reached the first step of the color film process, yep. which was the P32A black and white film. And they offered that to all the Kickstarter they call people it P32? first. they P32? Actually, yeah. 32. I'm, I'm thinking something. P32 is uh, is an old army term. It's a P30. P32 is like a small can opener. Oh. <laughs> it's like from World War II. Okay. Uh, go look up a P32. Yeah. It's very tiny. You can Because I hear other all. people say P32. P32. As well. it's, it's, like an, it's an old can opener, yeah. So, it's, but it's super tiny. Uh, it, it used to come with like uh, uh, K rations or something yeah. like that. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. But a P30 yeah. it was their film and it was the Alpha. And if you were a Kickstarter person, you got the choice to go in and, and mm -hmm. grab some of that first. Yeah, yeah. And I certainly did. That's awesome. Yeah. But I, but I, and I probably shot it, but I don't remember my results on it because I didn't get a lot of it. I only, I only got a couple of rolls of it. Yeah. And that was a while back. And then they had to shut down and then they got their transistors in. Right. The things you see on the phone, telephone poles. Those, yeah. Well, evidently, their versions were like six feet tall. <laughs> and they had to do three of them, which means I think they were all had to be uh, custom made. Okay. They had all of those things made. They got them installed. They got them up and running. I think that was probably the last hurdle. And then they spent more time concentrating on the production of the film at that point. Sure. And that's when I think they came out with they had the alpha, and then they came out with the current, just P30, no alpha is, or anything. Is it it's beta? just 
No, it's just all P30. Is it gamma? 30. It is that. But uh, th from what I understood, they did a short run on that. Mm -hmm. Then they fine-tuned it. And then they produced what we have today. The P30 film. film. Yeah. No alpha, no beta, no nothing, just P30. And they, sh they, they ship it out. Now, they're, they're, this is how current this is. I just got my orders in last week. Yes, you did. Since our last video. Since the last video. Yeah, so we had the last changing. things. Ha Remember when I said that it's flooding? It is flooding. This is the flood. This is part of that flood. It's, uh, we've, I got 300 rolls of P30. This is their this is their formula that they're running with, and that this will be the one that they that they will make production runs, and okay. the production runs of them will grow and grow. Now they have a complete group of people there working, ready to do it. They've got the scientists, they've got the every, they got this, they got the, that, they got they've got the employees set up, they've got the machines up and running now. Now they're in there. Let's open the gates and let the let the horses run. You know they're they're in that uh, they're in that let's take off mode, which so, is very exciting. I mean, it is super exciting. It is. The production runs out. They they've shipped it out. Now I've got it, and without really much fanfare, I've actually been selling quite a bit of it. Which is great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, with the previous film that we did i mean they had worldwide production this and that and promotions and everything started on a wednesday <laughs> and and you know i've actually sold about 46 or 7 percent of that film oh, but that's great this without any fanfare in that regard i have started going through it and uh sold quite a bit for the first Two weeks or a week and a half. Well, I mean, there were some really great reviews when the original P30 came out. I mean, uh -huh. it, you know, for what they said, it was a is a very beautiful film. Like I said, I don't remember shooting mine and what my results were, uh, but you know, everybody, every review I read about it was definitely raving. Oh it. yeah, had great uh, had great tones to it, it's wonderful a... contrast, nice dynamics to it. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's a really nice film, and so I highly recommend anybody give it a try, especially oh, if you're yeah. looking for something different because. This isn't somebody else's film. This is mm. just their film. Their, you will not see this version of the emulsion under any other name. Right. So what I am trying to do right now, and this is, whenever you first, when, 2016, I really started getting back into film. And I went back and looked, talking about looking in your past notes and everything. <laughs> yeah. I went back and looked. In 2014, I sent an email to Film Ferrania saying, I would love to sell your film in uh, my store. Yeah, that was like a year after the Kickstarter. A year so. after the Kickstarter. I am excited. I said, man, when you get to that point, I want to sell your product in my store. And that was really before I really started uh, building the wall up, the Great Wall Up. Right. Uh, 2016, if you see a photo, there's a photo of my dad and I sitting here. And there's only like eight shelves as opposed to like... 12 shelves right. that we have so that it's really grown and i've got not only do i have 12 shelves i've got stuff on the floor that can't fit on a shelf <laughs> so 2016 was really my takeoff point but i sent an email to them in 2014 so i thought that was fun going in the way back I you said 16 16 no yeah. the no my email oh you sent it in 14 yeah i think i said it in 14 16 is whenever i started really building this up oh, okay so it's right after they really got I mean, they just took over. Yeah. And the news was about it coming Yeah, but out. the Kickstarter I did, it was until fi till 15. 15. So, so this is before the Kickstarter. Yeah. I'm sitting there going, please let me carry your film in my store. Well, they didn't read that and they didn't remember that, but somebody else called they today. Follow they, didn't, they didn't follow up email. We're going to put a pin in his email. <laughs> we're going to come back to him and we're going we're gonna to see him here. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, I'll, I'll pull that email up so you can see it. <laughs> but I, I was excited whenever they got to this stage and then to have the opportunity to get pick up 300 rolls of it. And I, I jumped at it. I said, yes, yes. Yeah, sure. Please, please, please. Well, say, if I'm correct, and you, as you were telling me, mm -hmm. they called you. Well, I wasn't going to say anything about that, but yeah. They called I, you, they called, right? I, got a, but, I now, got a phone call. And, and why did they call you? Well, the, I, love the, I love the philosophy of Film Ferrania on this. 
this is what I've been trying to get other companies to understand and to, to see. Right. A physical store, a brick and mortar store yes. here in Dallas. And I don't ship the products away. No. When it, it's like I got 300 rows of another film and I've sold through 47% of that in a, less than a month. Or I don't know how, it wasn't, it's not that long. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't ship that anywhere. I could have sold out of all of that stuff if I did shipping. But I sell in store only. And that makes this store sort of the front lines battle for what's going on in the film world. In trenches. The, in the, the trenches. trenches. We're fighting in the trenches. <laughs> People come into the store, look at the wall, and they see it. And that still has a deep meaning to people, to be able to look at it, see it, instead of just look on a page in the computer. Yeah, you know, they don't make their film decision until they come in here and they look at the wall of candy, essentially. Yes. It's like, mm, what flavor do I want today? And, and what do you have that's new? And mm -hmm. I mean, sure, there's lots of old favorites up oh, there. And, the tried and true. Yeah, but you know, new is, the, it's always attractive. It's very, very attractive, something new. Oh. Or something mm -hmm. that's a you know that's a big name that hasn't been able to been gotten. You're uh, preaching to the choir, man. I, I know, but, to it, the choir. but I've seen the glassy look on these people's faces when they come in there. They're like, yeah, oh, look. At they this. stand where that camera is right yeah, now, and they look are. at this wall, and they go, just like a per, nice size percentage of the people walk out with something they did not come in to get. Right. They come. In, they came in to buy ABC. They wind up with A, B, C, D, and a little bit of an H, and maybe a J in there. I don't know. They, they, they get a little bit more than they come in for. And you just really don't have that, oh, what do they call impulse buy on, on the internet. You know, you have to see it. Yeah, it's well, I mean, it's hard for things just to, to mysteriously fall into your basket. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that you pay for. <laughs> Not that yeah. you hide, but that, that you just come in and buy. So this is what the brick and mortar stores do. They fight for your product to be bought by customers. And customers come in and I sit there and I say, yes, I just got this film in last week. Yeah. And then I start listing the things. And something like this, this is what you, what somebody talking to them, pushing it does that the page on the internet doesn't do and you see i'm using my hands a lot <laughs> yeah, yeah and you know I, I was just thinking i have shopped for film online before yeah. uh and you know what it, every time i do that i re really hit myself in the head with a brick because it's like this is it's a painful process it's like it's you know, it, nothing about it is exciting interesting different yep. it's like i'm only going to get the stuff i normally get and nothing more yeah and you know if, if there were if there was something different it's probably buried far down on the list and i'm never yeah. going to see it but if you're sitting if you're standing there looking in this direction yeah. and i start taking something like this and i start going hey hey <laughs> you know it's like smelling sauce it's like whoa yeah you know this then becomes it becomes reality i mean it's it's something that's tangible to you it's not a, an item on a page. Well, you can't glance. You can't take in the entire Great Wall of Film online. No. You can only really be here in person to see it in person and say, oh, look at all yeah. that. Yeah. And then uh, I love it because people will stand there and go, what's new? They, they what's will. New? Every time. What's new? What's new? You know, uh, again, it's fun because I point out what's new and then I tell them about it. Now, I, I've never seen myself as a salesperson. You know, somebody who pushes things on you. I really don't. I and mean, you've, you've seen me talk to people. Well, I mean, the best products really sell themselves. Yeah. But what I do... And so when somebody comes in here, I don't, you, yeah. they, they kind of know what they want, right? You don't really have to sell. They, they want to get some film. No, that's true. That's true. And then whenever I sit there and hold this, I don't say, you need to buy this. I say, this is something new. This is something that I can sit there and go, hey, just got this in in the past week. And let me tell you about it. I just have to present it to people. Uh -huh. I don't sell it. To, I said, here's the features. Here's, the, here's what's cool about it. And what I am after, like I said, we started in 2016 building this up. Yeah. Well, after a while, I him, noticed. Him. Well, I, I start. I just say we. I, I just, it's just him happens. and the mouse in his pocket. Yeah, him and the no, mouse. Not me. 
that's a hundred years old. <laughs> this we I I sit there and go, hey, this is unique. Whenever I looked back at the stuff that I was buying from 2016 to about 2019 and 20, a lot of it was the same thing, just in a different package. Yes. So I had it in this form, I had it in this form, and then I had it in this form. So I had three of the same thing just scattered throughout. Yeah. That That's, to me, wasteful of very precious real estate. Well, you could have something in a three pack, you could have it in a single pack, no, and it's like, no. well, it, no, it, you could, you yeah, could, yeah. you could. I'm, I'm just theoretically speaking, and it's like, well, one or the other, let's get something else in here. Yeah, I think but, that's where you're going, right? Right, yeah. It's like whenever I have Foma Pen in Foma Pen, in Arista, and in Lomography. Right, that too. It's three things that are the same. Well, I like getting things like this Film for Anya. You will not see, I got Film. Frania, Frania, <laughs> uh, you will not find this under a different label. Right. This is it. This is the label. When you want this film, you get this label. That's what I'm really concentrating on now. Things that are unique and things that are not under four different names. It's like Cinestill. That's under f seven or eight different names. Well, but, uh, yes, true. Cinestill sure. technically is Kodak film. It is. And there's like, it's it's like seven, there's multiple companies out there buying it and repackaging it. Right. And, and this you know, right here. No, and, this and, is unique. We don't want you to be fooled by that. It's like, I, can't, yeah. I don't want to offer it to you many times. Yeah. Here, here it is once and that's it, enough. Uh, it's like, it's funny when people said, no, I won't buy Fomo Pen, but I'll buy Lady Grey. <laughs> and I'm going, but that is Fomo Pen. <laughs> so, joke's on you. Joke's on you. <laughs> yeah. And, like, it's, it, and so that's what I would do. But this is a unique, unique emulsion. And not only is it a unique emulsion. He's having a hard time saying that. I don't know why. I know. Well, I'm tongue tied. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's actually a medical condition. Mm. But whenever you have something like this, and they are now creating what they call the UID, unique identification code, mm -hmm. that's on the scanner. Right. This is fun. And whenever you take your your phone, which he will do later and, and scan this roll of film and then show you what's all on it, this information here tells you the date that this roll was produced, the master roll that this film came off of. Okay. Master roll number 200. Right. It will also then tell you the... When they take a master roll and they cut it into sections, that's called pancakes. Okay. That pancake... This is starting to sound very delicious about now. That is. And then you get a little syrup and we're going. It is awesome. The, so is that a serving? This is one this serving. Is one serving size. Well, actually, I think this is one serving. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I wonder how many calories are in here. <laughs> but whenever you read this, it's, the, it's like there's row A, B, C, D. That's the pancake that it came off. That's the slice. Right. They can scan this. If you have an issue with it, send it to them, and then they will say, okay, this is the history of that slice of pancake. This is the history of this master roll. And they can figure out the issues and the problems with it. It's, it's very specific and targeted. <laughs> but you know what I would hate is for, is for me to go through all this trouble and let uh, Film for Anya, you know, it's like, look, I had trouble with this film and then have them get back. It's like, you know what? Everybody had trouble with that. Film. Yeah. So here, uh, and, we'll send you something like, and replace and like, it. Well, whether or not. They did, it's yeah. like, well, that doesn't make me feel better. Those were priceless memories <laughs> that I don't know I have anymore. Well, yeah, but that, hopefully that's not, that seldom, seldom happens. So. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, that's hopeful, seldom. Hopefully. But. but the neat thing about this, again, is, is that what, whenever you use your iPhone or whatever phone, smartphone, smartphone, smartphone. I have a, but not your flip phone, which I have. Not his flip phone. No. Then you will scan that. Now, what we have found is that several people have done this already. Uh -oh. You have to kind of peel this Remaining thing this sticker. to where it's flat. And then that makes it easier to scan. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I'm just telling people because they're going to. That's, that's, that's good, I suppose. 
What? Not knowing that? <laughs> Dude, if you people are going to be scanning that. You say, you say, I would not have told you that, and you'd be going, it's not scammy. I don't know. We haven't tried it yet. Yeah, so we're see now I, out. I, I'm going to try it both ways. I'm going to try it flat. I'm going to try it rounded. We're going to see I, if it works either way. There you go. Because the two or three people that I've had it try, they couldn't scan the, the, okay. the coded. They, the, uh, the, the curled. They could Maybe only do this. Maybe those are Android phones. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. <laughs> so that is my recommendation for this right now. Now, the fun thing about this is that this is just the start. This is just the start of what they're doing. The next phase is, is to put all of this information directly onto the film. At the bottom of the film, we'll tell you the, master, the date it was created, the master roll, the pancake, and then the film frame number. All of that will be on the roll eventually. That they're telling this is to, this is our next gold. That's really kind of cool. And whenever we get to that point, and we'll have one, we'll tell you all the benefits of that at that time, because there are benefits to that. But this is something for you to do. Now, I'm telling you this because we're going to use this. We, we I am going to use this <laughs> to create one box with 100 rolls of film in it, sell this one box, and then with everybody understanding that there will be a competition involved with the box of film that I sell with the codes in that one box. Now that will be fun. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, any and kind of competition is always fun. Any kind of competition. But this will be a unique com competition to just the, the one box. And I, the, the thing of it is, is that right now, since I've just gotten this, I got to figure out all of the, the, her, uh, the hoops to jump through to get this to happen. Quickly, because it's going to yeah. start selling. These, uh, yeah. This one box is eventually going to be starting well, sold, and, and it's going whenever, to be Whenever, whenever, right now I'm selling the ones I have another box. But whenever I get this box, I won't sell it until I get the whole process figured out. Okay. And this, is, this will be, and we're just, again, we're, we're, this is a test competition. A test run. It's just trying something. I am. It's you, gonna, it's he's gonna, experimenting with you You're people. the guinea pigs in it. <laughs> so this is going to be really fun. Now, the, the film that we have on here, again, is this is their first line of film right. out. They have also got four or five different rolls of film lined up behind this that will be coming out later. And they will slowly start progressively coming out with multiple different types of film, color, black and white, 120 film, Which maybe is great four by five film. We need more film in this world. We do. And then a new color film would be amazing. It's right. the hottest thing on the market right now, C41. Hopefully, maybe we will even have uh, chemicals, film Ferrania uh, chemicals that come out so okay. to process this stuff. A whole boatload of stuff. This is the beginning of that of that second wave that will be hitting. Second, third, fourth. fourth. I mean, it's going to be more stuff. This is right. just the first of the stuff. Now, again, the fun thing about this is this is also the start of a totally you uh, fun uh, setup for for the customers and for the company. They are working on becoming a complete in-house film production company. And by that, okay. it means they will make the plastic containers, they will make the metal containers, and these containers do have DX coating on them. Some of the aftermarket, or not aftermarket, but the secondary markets don't have DX coatings. Right. This has DX coating on it. So they will, and it's got silver tops too. I like that. Look at that. Coding, C O D I N G, not coating. Coating, coating. It's it's my it's my accent. This is accent. Yeah, it's not Italian, but the <laughs> the company will be making everything themselves. They will make the the foundation of the film. They will make the emulsion layers. They will make the tin cans that it goes in. They'll make the plastic containers that that goes in, and then they will ship it out. Everything will eventually be in-house, and they will not be relying on 
anyone else to make their film or to make any part of it. Hmm, Completely in house. Yes, I, I see there's some great benefits to that, but it, you know. No, here's the other benefit to that. Then they can also start going to other companies, like the smaller kickups. And help them. And say, yes, we will run your stuff through our machines. We'll package your film we'll for you. We'll package your film for you and use your emulsions and everything. Okay. So they will be able to then actually work with other people. That sounds an awful lot like our friends at Kofuji. <laughs> well, you know what? When, <laughs> that's a whole nother video. Go, go back and watch our food. Thank you. Whoever was that one person who put us over 100 hours watch, thank you. But that, that whole video is going to be coming, uh, like we say, more... Uh, it's going to come back into our future I couldn't help myself. video on that. So that's a good point to bring up. We're going to be revisiting that, especially after a comment well, that was made. <laughs> that's true. But it is, it is really nice to have somebody who can do the whole process, who yes. can also help other companies do the process, because not everybody can make well, film. Uh, this is part of the, whenever everybody was coming back off their breaks, this is part of the problem is that we're relying on other people to get things done for them. Yeah. And that's why they were taking so long. Whenever you're not relying on other people and it's all in-house, you're the only one you can complain to about it. You know, it's like, hey, we don't, get our, we don't have our, our metal containers. Well, it's your fault because <laughs> yeah. you're making them. So this makes you independent of everything else and thus hopefully means that you're not <laughs> being drugged down with everyone else when something else happens. So there's, there's a lot of fun things about this. It's not just on the surface layer, like the emulsion layer mm -hmm. level. It's also on the film foundation base and on the behind the scenes. This is going to be an interesting, fun thing to watch for decades. And hopefully, as they say, for the next century. For the next century. I won't yes. be around to celebrate that hundred years. Oh, I plan on it. <laughs> but I'm going to definitely be here at the beginning of it. That's the fun thing. Oh, so there you yeah, go. Okay. See, we're now in at the start of this. So I have 300 rolls up here. I have, I'm working my way pretty good through 100 rolls of it. Right. 100 rolls will be set aside for a special contest as soon as I get it all figured out. But you know about it. You've and been told. You've been told first. The other, uh, yeah. Well, second, because I've told one You've other. You've already mentioned it to me. Yeah. But yeah, you well, guys, that, essentially, yeah, you're so. on the ground floor of this one. I, I just didn't want to have to put my hand on the Bible and go, hey, I do you swear. It's like, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I told someone else first. <laughs> but we've got it right here in our hands. And right now, like I said, I am selling it in store only. And all the people in the DFW area, all the people, now this is, this is a much bigger crowd than you would think. Yeah. All the other people that are traveling into Dallas for work or business or vacation or visiting friends, mm, yeah. stop by the store and pick some up. Yeah. Because I have already had several people, I think from like LA, who are in town doing a project and pick up a few rolls of this. So visit from, when you're in Dallas, come by the store. When you're in, I've actually had people from other countries do business If you're here. a filmographer, 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 you should make this one of your stops on your your visit to Dallas. Yes, definitely, because I will have things like this. Not only have it, but in volume, and I hope that uh, that I will have lots of this for you to buy when you come and visit. Oh yeah, yeah. So that is the foundation of what's cool. Now, they are actually telling you to peel and keep this label with your negatives. Don't put it on your negatives, but whenever you put them into mm. the archival sheets, put this with it because this will always be your information on that archive sheet of negatives. Okay. Until they get this actually on the film, this is what we have to use right now. Okay. But eventually it will be actually on the film. It will be on the so film. So that uh, you don't have to remember to do that. Yeah. So when your negatives, as as are, when your negatives are processed, it'll be there and you'll it's release it instead. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. That it's makes, really which cool. Which is way more sense because then you don't have to worry about losing it and mixing it up. Yeah. So this right here is the newest member on the wall of Great wall of film. The great wall of film. He said he's going to find me a dollar every time I missed one of the words. <laughs> the, the great, great wall, wall of, film. of film. 
And I just put these up here for, my, we're, it's gonna be right up here. There, we're gonna have this stuff stacked back there. And, and hopefully it's gonna start taking up more room with other products. Yes, eventually one day, the whole shelf will be film Frania. That'd be cool. Products. And I'm excited to be a part of this, this initial return for film Frania. Yeah, well, so uh, when I was saying, how did they get a hold of you? I thought you were gonna mention that they actually saw some videos. They, they did. And I thought that was, I'm sorry guys. And no, here I am no. now getting it out of it. Like, <laughs> it's like, wait a second, Film for Anya watched Watches the vil videos. our videos. They yes. were looking for people who, who were are passionate about film, film. photography. Yeah. And that are film centric. And we are definitely, if I didn't have film in this store, we might have closed. Uh, because film is pretty much what's keeping the doors open here. Yeah. I mean, I'm selling through a ton of film here. And uh, it's fun. I mean, it's there's, yeah, as you know, there's not a lot of profit on it. Uh, so I, I hope people will also, when they have a chance, buy, you know, like uh, buy other stuff, other stuff, tripods or really cool film cases and things like that. Yeah. Uh, but it's this is this is this is the foundation of the store is the analog. It's the still photography, and it's uh, eventually, like I said, it, we're going to have a whole shelf of the film Ferrania. We're going to have it 35, 120, hopefully one day, four by five, maybe eight by 10. Uh, it's, it's just going to be fun. And th this is something at the beginning of the growth of a whole nother part of this industry and a whole nother part of this, this fun trip we're on. And right, it's going to be right. fun. But they watch the videos. But they watch the videos. And, and not only do they watch the videos, they actually know who I was. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. The most important part. Well, for someone. <laughs> <laughs> For my mom. For your, well, yes. For Mama your Holger. mom. Your mom. They watch our videos. Now, it's so funny because it, it's like somebody gets it. The the brick and mortar stores yeah. are, are they're the, important. They're the foot soldiers out there pushing the product, pushing the, 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 the still photography industry. And really, DFW is a true analog community. Right. <clears throat> It's growing, and it will one day, my whole purpose of this is to one day create a, a community that will support a film company, production company, to say, hey, we need to go to DFW and mm. launch this product. We need to go to DFW to talk about this product, to because we should be able to get a decent group of people to any event that comes here, you know, because we've got connections all across to, you know, uh, to stores that sell film, right. labs that produce film, photo walk clubs that yep. shoot film and push film. And just, we, we just have a connection across the whole community that's starting to really develop that inner network and support the analog community. And our belief is not to fight for each other's customers, but to expand and grow the customer it's base. To fight with each other's customers. <laughs> That's behind the scenes. Oh, Keep that behind uh, okay, the scenes. Yeah, yeah. But it's to simply build the number of customers that are out there. So the, the, the point is to, to create this analog community that makes it to where we can have a film company come down. I would love to do, there's film, There's photo walks in other parts of the world. I want them Are here in, yeah, not in Dallas. Not just Dallas? Not not in Dallas. No, I'm, I'm talking about no. like a film for Anya photo walk. Mm. You know, we, we, need, we want something like that. There's other companies out there that do photo walks okay. under their brand name. I want them here in Dallas too. That would be so cool. we we are building this up to make it like that for our customers. So be a part of it by doing that. What do we need to do? What do the customers out there? What do our viewers need to do? Well, subscribing to our videos would be nice. That's a perfect way to start. <laughs> perfect, and that's exactly what I was thinking. Yes. 
And, and one, the thing I was thinking of is it probably need to put together some sort of email list for everybody to yes. start putting the, you know, to, to say, you know, mind you, you're not a spamming type person. I'm no. not a spamming type no. person. But unfortunately, we need people to be able to sign up on a list and periodically let people know that these things are happening. These well. things, yeah. So yep. maybe, maybe it is, maybe you start the analog community thing here. Maybe well, we start an email well, it's, list. It's, and it's maybe, already going. But maybe somebody puts together like a monthly newsletter of sorts saying, hey, here's the photo walks. And here's, yeah. here's the new films that are out. And here's the Well, I thought that's what our videos are for. That is true, too. That's true. Because we do that already on here. Anyways. But we, we don't have a we don't have an meeting email. Meeting ideas. Yeah, yeah email, uh, an email list. I, I do like that. And yeah, so like, subscribe. Oh, do share, like, subscribe. He's trying to take my life. Yes, yes. We're same. trying to get ourselves out of here. Yeah, we are. Guys. We are. <laughs> <laughs> but tell everybody, tell your friends, tell it on the watching, rooftop. Just shout it out that, hey, we had a huge run of subscribers these past couple months. Thank you for that, too. Thank you. And it's like, it's just, it, we, we appreciate it. I can tell it by the customers coming in the stores, etc. So we got a lot of fun stuff coming up. And now Film Frania is going to be a huge part of it. So please, come in the store, buy it. All right, see you guys next time. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, man. So, do you think they know what this video is about? Uh, I'm hoping it's about, um, oh, I forgot. What were we talking about? Film Ferrania.